Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 on the PlayStation 5. All right, so yeah, let's just go and jump right into the episode, which remember, we need to... We've already taken this car almost completely apart, and there's still a lot more you could take off of it, but it's pretty well stripped. And so now we need to buy all the parts. I haven't done that yet. Now that we have the, uh... You know, the easier way of doing this, we don't really need to do this off camera. So now let's just go and start going down the list and getting everything we need. Need that belt tensioner. And then uh, I think we want to do it, we'll do it down this way. And this time we'll make sure we don't remove stuff from the list <laughs> as we go, because that caused us issues in that past episode. Confusion. Yeah, it caused a little bit of confusion there. And again, we could be buying some parts that we don't need. Well, we know we're buying parts we don't need because there was, what, 36 parts here that we counted that we were going to put on the list. Oh, you actually need two of these cameos. Oh, yeah, we do. So, yeah, there's 32 parts, but uh, there's 32 parts that we needed. And we have, like, 36 on the list. So we know we're buying some parts that we don't need. Like, oh, well. Yeah, that's fine, though. Can we even afford this? <laughs> it's getting quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about it. Um, better fucking pay. Yeah, this is getting pretty expensive. Some of these parts are really expensive overall. I'd really hate if we bought an expensive part that isn't one of the ones we need. I need 10 of these babies. But this is like what I had mentioned before, is that, you know, you can get in a position. Okay, that's not in here. The ignition coil isn't. You know, m many of these might not be. Spark plug, I don't think that's in here. I don't know about the piston. Is. How many of those did we need? Just two. two. Yeah, this is getting really expensive. But yeah, you can see how you could find yourself in a position where you don't have the money for everything. Bro, you gotta yeah. do some oil changes or something. But I guess if you only have Even one, that costs odd. money. I wonder what happens. Well, you can always move the car somewhere else. Oh, just like throw it out back. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> how many of that, that need these? Two, two spark plugs. And we had enough money. So we're all right. It wasn't a problem this time, but you can see how you get run into that issue. So now it's time to start the mounting process again. Let's just go into part mount and then... Start pushing just, buttons. Yeah, throwing pieces on. <laughs> yeah, get all these bushings on. Get you know. the bushings. Yeah, that can get you pretty hardcore. You'll be missing a bushing. So you'll try and sell the... Or not sell the car. You'll try and <laughs> say you're done with the job. And then it'll be like, uh-uh, you got two rubber bushings missing. And then you just gotta fucking find where they go. Or yeah, you're just like, fuck it. And then sell, sell the car. <laughs> <laughs> or you do that. I feel like maybe we, this one didn't need to be replaced. Yeah, probably not. Oh, okay, well now we have two pieces. Oh, that's Okay, right. that's true, because you got two sides. That makes sense. So yeah, this might have been one of the ones. I might not even bought this piece, though. I don't know. Doesn't seem like yeah, it. Not at 67%. It's just the bushings that mm -hmm. we replaced. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, let's get all the bushings on here before we do anything else, guys. So we'll know we have at least these four bushings on. But yeah, that's what gets you, man, is the bushings. So I mentioned last episode that we were both in the military. And you know, I've had a lot of people ask me over the last few days how I felt about the Afghanistan situation. You know, having been a former service member and you know it's a complicated situation I really don't feel like there's any easy answer for it like there's no right answer on what we should and shouldn't do here like when it comes to pulling out or not and we've been for 20 years like that's how long that war has been going on or our occupation or whatever you want to call it and so like when was the right time to pull out now I think we all can agree that the way it's being done right now is not the right way to do it I feel like it could have done, been done much better. But as far as whether or not we should be pulled out, because I hear a lot of people saying, you know, we should have never pulled out. I don't just know that I just stay there forever, I guess. I don't know what the argument there is. Well, a lot of people are saying because it hasn't been that costly recently for America. You know, like there hasn't been any uh, soldiers that have died in like the last, I don't know, it's been a while, 18 months or something since the last U.S. soldier died in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. I might be wrong about the, the time frame there. I feel like there's something that needs to go right here. Yeah. You just... that work? Oh, okay. And then we put the gearbox on there. 
So, you know, we haven't, like, been losing lives as far as, like, soldiers. I don't know about contractors and stuff. But it definitely has a financial cost as well. So that should be considered. But overall, like some people were saying, you know, wasn't that big of a deal being there right now. Couldn't we just have, have stayed? I don't know if this will cause any problems if I start putting stuff on down here. Well, I guess You'd think it would block us. It's going to open up, you know, opportunity for other people to occupy. Well, yeah, there's that as well. Some people are concerned about, like, China. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. It's a very complicated topic. So it's not as simple for me, I think, as just, oh, we should have stayed or, oh, we should have left. I mean, there's a lot more complication involved with it. But yeah, I've had a lot of people ask me about it, what my thoughts on it were. And again, I think it's just, um, there's no real easy answer. I think the only thing that we can mostly all agree on, though, because these days there's very little that we all agree on when it comes to politics, which is why we don't typically, like, address it. But I think the one thing that we can all agree on is that it's not being done very well. Like, the the pullout, I think our government has kind of fumbled on that one. I think it could have done, been done a lot better, whether you agree with the pullout or not. What's interesting is that it's one of the things that is kind of unifying the right and the left, in a way. There's very few little things that the right and the left agree on. Uh, but I think both sides are agreeing that this is not the best way to do it. So I think that's interesting because you never see anything that we agree on or not. So I guess there's we want to talk about unity. <laughs> yeah, there's that. <laughs> We're unified in our disagreement on how it's being done. Well, it's just a sad situation for the people there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like getting a taste of liberty... And then having it taken from you is worse than never having it at all. Yeah, that's messed up. Like, because you don't even know what, what you lost. So, like, it's particularly sad for the women, I feel. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's not going to be good for them. No. Because, I mean, like, they, they had liberal values there that we instilled, you know, kind of forced on the country when we got there. And when we occupied it, and they've had those liberal values for a really long time. Like, there are young girls there who have no only known Afghanistan under American occupation. So yeah, I just, I think that's kind of sad. I mean, you can see all the people that are trying to, to get out of the country. Mm -hmm. You know, the, like all the ones that are trying to get up on our planes and trying to stop them from taking off so they can get on board and just how many people we have on board many of these planes just they're just filled up with refugees there's so many people just want to get out of the country so it's just a it's a humanitarian crisis regardless and it's sad and i just felt like it, some of it could have been avoided if our government would have handled it better and this isn't really about Biden or Trump or anything like that. This this is our government. It's, regardless of who's in control, it's always kind of incompetent, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time where government was running efficiently? I can't even say. Well, everybody likes to put everything on these, you know, figureheads. And when you're not really talking about the people who are, like, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Actually doing the yeah. work. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you do got to take, as I think Biden said in his speech the other day, you know, the buck stops with him. So you do, they are responsible, they're in charge. So there's certainly a responsibility that goes on the president. But I mean, this isn't about the president or about who's president, it's, it's always shitty. That's the way I feel. It's never done very well, unfortunately. Well, nobody worthy wants any of that. <laughs> <laughs> everybody who knows doesn't care and everybody cares doesn't know. Because why would you want that job? I sure as fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Add somebody on our Discord because we have a political section. If you want to talk about politics, because I am very much involved in political discussions myself. We don't really do it much on the channel here, but we do have our Discord, which is where I typically direct people if they want to talk about politics. Though, if you are going to head over there to have political discussions, keep in mind that we have people from a variety of ideologies. And we all disagree about stuff. I, I myself consider myself a centrist. And so no matter what side you're on, you're probably going to disagree with things that I say. And you're going to disagree with others. So if you do come to the, the Discord, then you need to be one of those people that can handle somebody disagreeing with you. And just be respectful. Yeah, that other people have different opinions. Because, man, some people get nasty when somebody disagrees with them these days. I miss when people were able to disagree with each other <laughs> and then go on about their lives. Yeah. 
now it's like this big deal. Like if somebody disagrees with you, then they're like, they're evil. Like, can you imagine <laughs> dating these days? I know, right? <laughs> like, Where like I'm the gonna... first question gets asked is, who did you vote for in yeah. 2020? I'm gonna need you to fill out this application. Uh huh. Yeah, I can't imagine what dating must be like right now. I guess that's why people just aren't. Yeah, I suppose there's a lot less, and people having issues with it. But yeah, I can't imagine it. You gotta fill out a political discussion. <laughs> Make sure you got the right beliefs. That's just strange, man. I guess we're putting old rubber bushings on now. Although that could cause an issue because these need to be... Don't they need to be a certain percentage? All the specific parts need to be a certain percentage. What's the percentage, though? 75%, I want to say. Which means these bushings would not... Uh, 72%. Apply. 72%. Okay, well, this bushing I just 75. put on. Okay, but not all of them are. So let me just take a look. So this bushing is the one we just put on there, right? Let me just double check here, guys. We're going to go to part unmount to make sure that we're putting on. That's 75%. Okay. So I think we're going to need to buy more bushings. We might need a few more. I know yeah. that quite a few of them are 75%. Oh, never, nope. never mind. That's what I saw. Yeah, Four. we have one more to put on here guys aren't the others 88 no they're 66 percent oh i i can't see good yeah i'm blind oh we can actually go through the tablet here and uh just get more bushings oh we're in the electronics you need to just buy a big old bucket of bushings clearly so uh go back with triangle Okay, so yeah, let's get these bushings, and we'll just buy like, I don't know, about like 20 or something, or 11, whatever. <laughs> New and shiny. Okay. Is that for spending a certain amount of money, maybe? Maybe. That's what I would assume. Oh, and we're dismounting. Okay. <laughs> we didn't want to do that. We're going to go to part mount again. So put that 75% onto this car, because it's his tore up bushing. Yeah, we're not going to give your shitty bushing to someone else. Mm-hmm. Or will we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess if it was like only a requirement of a certain percentage, then that would work. Yeah, let's get all these bushings on, guys, because, again, we don't want to forget them. I'm probably already forgetting yeah. some bushings. I have a feeling. All right, we've gotten that bushing. There's one right there. Right where? Right there. Oh, this? Oh, right there. Oh, yeah, we haven't done that one. Yeah, no, you just can't, like, go up. It's very <laughs> difficult to... When the car is this high, you can't, like, shift the camera up at all. So did we get all four bushings here? I think we did. I think so. Okay. Let's go and do the rear suspension arm. See, like these. Oh. Yeah. I mean, these are small rubber bushings, so I think they're fine, because I don't think there's any requirement to change those out. Because, uh, again, like, one of the confusing things is it's not about a certain percentage like everything that is this percentage needs to be replaced mm -hmm. which i think somebody was saying in the comments unless i misunderstood them that that's how it used to be in the, in the previous one is like everything at a certain percentage was going to have to be replaced well, on this one it only needs to be replaced if it's specifically something they want replaced mm. so kind of changing it up a little bit kind of makes it a bit confusing a little bit mm-hmm because you can't just see a certain percentage and know, oh, this is it's this is 67%, so we know this has to be replaced. Because everything needs to be 75%. But that's not the case in, in this game, so it does add a little bit of confusion here. I think we're doing a decent job of getting everything put together. I feel like we've missed some bushing somewhere. Think so? I feel like it. I guess we can take a look and see if there, there shouldn't be any more bushings, right? That are red? If we got them all? We got yep. those three. It looks like we got all the bushings. We got all the bushings. All right, awesome. So most of this is with the engine. All right, so yeah, we'll just finish putting up the, putting the back here together with the, the tires, the wheels, and then we'll be uh good to go. We'll get that wheel hub cap on there, and then yeah, we'll go ahead and, and bring the car back down and, and finish putting the engine together. Easy, and then easy. I want to say we'll have to put some new oil in there. Oh, I don't know yeah. if there's any other fluids that he needs done. I think we spilled some. I don't know if we have to replace that. But. <laughs> True. Yeah. We did spill some different things. When we taken the car all apart. He made a mess. Made a little bit of a mess. So yeah, I might have to replace that fluid as well. 
Can't just give them a car with lacking <laughs> fluids. Like, well, I didn't know you wanted yeah. fluid in there. <laughs> but yeah, basically what we should be done after after that. Yeah, this is quite the job. Encompassing like three videos, practically. I do like putting stuff on better. Than yeah, I do too. It <laughs> yep. That's what I was saying earlier in the series. I, I just prefer putting it back together. I get all stressed out with taking it apart. Yeah. And I'm just like, am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to be able to get this all put back together? Alright, so I want to say yeah, I everything's on back area. here. I guess we'll check our inventory once we finish <laughs> this and see if there's anything, any parts that are supposed to be put on that aren't put on. We have an extra bolt somewhere. <laughs> yeah. like, uh oh. Oh, we need to bring the car back down. I feel like we're not done with the bottom here. I think there might be more stuff we have to do from, from up top, but let's go and do what we can uh, from down here. Oh, we need to go to part mount. Like that blue. All right, so look at the like alternator. It. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> look at the fan now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Get out of the way, ball. Yeah, there's too much stuff everywhere. All right, so alternator's on. And yeah, we'll just continue working on this side down here. If I can just get down there I'm having some difficulty guys I'm just like how do big old dudes be working in these tiny little spaces with much difficulty <laughs> I don't know how you like fit your arms all up in here I think I'd be a great mechanic I got tiny little arms your scrawny arms but I'm strong <laughs> <laughs> Jinx is stronger than your average woman she lifts weights with me so didn't you just move up on your bench press, too? I did. Yeah, Jinx just moved up on her bench press, because she does some bench pressing. And Jinx doesn't get crazy with the, the weight lift, and... Like, she's not like, uh... No. <laughs> <laughs> Praetorian's like, you want to move up? Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> well, because we had changed up the kind of weight system. Like, I had had, for my, um... Uh, for my dumbbells... I normally have like just I leave 40 pounds on there because there's some workouts that I use just 40 pounds with on the dumbbells and so we had kind of kept it like that and we've had it like that for a while and then I just add you know weights to it whenever I do workouts that are more than 40 pounds which like all my shoulder workouts are at least 70 so I go up higher than that like up to the most I, I use is 85 right now 85 pound dumbbells for a couple workouts and so yeah, I like would just leave the, uh, you know, I just leave it on forty pounds. But now there's so few workouts that I use the forty pounders for. I just said, you know what, fuck it. I'm not gonna keep, you know, you know, moving all these weights around. And so I changed it up, and now I keep it with fifty pounds on there. So He's I've, taking up all the ten. So yeah, I got more ten. I have another uh, two tens that I'm using on each dumbbell. And I took off some of the fives. So now we have more fives than tens. And you know, it's just as easy to like use the fives instead to fives equal ten if you don't know math. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't really change anything. But it changed up, you know, the way we put the weights on a little bit. And so I was like, you want to move up five pounds, Jinx? I guess. And so she moved up. If I gotta. Yeah, not so much by choice, more just because we had changed up necessity. the weight situation. Again, not necessity, because we have the weights if she wanted to do less. I wish we could buy... Do more. I wish we could buy more weights. Yeah. Everything's so expensive right now. It is now. so ridiculous. You'd think that because there would of the be COVID. Like a second-hand market of all these people who spent way too much on their, their weights. That they're, they're not like, even oh, used anymore? I'm not going to use these. Well, and the gyms are back open up now. And that's the reason why, you know, all the gyms closed. And so everybody bought weight sets, you know, because they couldn't go to the gym anymore. And so weights got, like, stupidly expensive during COVID. Good God. Like, I just wanted to buy some two and a half pounders, some extra two and a half pounders. It'd be like $20. Yeah, it was, like, insane. It was, like, each one was, like, 15 bucks or almost 20 bucks for two and a half pounders. It used to be where, like, the amount of weight was about the dollar equivalent. Yeah. So, like, a two and a half pounder, you'd pay, like, three bucks or so. Maybe five. But it's gotten, like, stupid, man. How expensive it is. Now, we haven't looked recently, so maybe the, the prices to weights have gone down. But, yeah, it got to a point where you couldn't buy weights at all. You just couldn't afford it. So, you just got to use whatever you got. 
Everybody out there trying to get strong for the mm-hmm. apocalypse. <laughs> Jinx thinks the apocalypse is coming. Well, that's why I do it. I'm like, how am I going to defend my family if I'm a puny little woman <laughs> who See, can't carry shit? For me, like the apocalypse is like it's the end of society, and that's never going. That's not going to happen. Like a lot of, I think you could look at, like Roman times when their civilization was falling apart. I'm sure all of them thought it was the apocalypse because Rome was ending. But it wasn't. Yeah. Society kept going. I'm pretty <laughs> Just, disappointed with the lack of apocalyptic feelings we have going on here. Because <laughs> it's not an apocalypse. It's just everybody's just like, oh, okay. Even if America completely collapses, it's still not the apocalypse. It's just the end of one society and the beginning of a new one. And it happens all through history. America can't last forever. Okay, Eventually, well, it'll be replaced. When do I get to wear my Raider outfits? <laughs> you watch too many movies, Jinx. Jinx really wants some. I wouldn't mind being a Raider, too, sometimes, <laughs> I think. We've been poor our whole lives, guys. We worked our ass off for a whole life. Yeah. Without paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> you see all these everybody like looting and stuff on TV, and you're like, I want to go looting. Like, I'd go out looting, but I got to work in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I got to go to work. Can't be all tired. <laughs> looting is tiring. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's not the apocalypse. Just, you know, well, you know going through a rough situation, time. Like natural disaster. Like That's the time you want to loot? Like everybody's dealing with me, <laughs> Even though we live in the middle of the country. <laughs> You're worried about tsunamis? We live in Colorado. <laughs> no, but you know, whenever that big tsunami happened. What? I'm just like, wow. It's going to completely wipe out <laughs> yeah. California, Nevada, yeah, Utah, it's, it's Arizona. Get to Colorado. <laughs> All those states are gone. No, but it was. And then it's going to get I over our mountains. It's <laughs> like you know the people who couldn't like hold on to their kids or whatever. Yeah, because the they're not strong enough. I get what you're away. saying. Yeah, if anything was to happen, you want to be strong enough to take care of your family. I mean, I probably still won't be strong enough just because I'm a lady and uh-huh. I don't get crazy with weightlifting. But <laughs> but still, I'm stronger than I was. Yeah. So Jinx has moved up to, I feel like there's something over here we didn't put on yet. Did we get those things that go in there? Mm -hmm. I feel like we're missing something. Alright, well let's put the cover on. Did we get the rotty things? Yeah, I feel like we didn't put something in there. in the bottom? I don't know. I I thought it didn't let you do something if you hadn't, oh here it is, these. The fuel rails, that's what I was trying to do. Let me put those back on. Yeah, Jinx moved up to... 115 is what you're benching now? Yeah, for mm-hmm. reps. For reps, not max. Which is pretty crazy, because, you know, it wasn't that long ago that, like, my goal was just to be able to lift 100. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you keep doing it, you'll slowly get get stronger. There's some dudes out there that couldn't lift 115, so... <laughs> you know, that's... <laughs> I feel like if you're a dude and you can't lift 115, then... You need to get yourself in the gym. You, you need to get yourself in the gym. <laughs> that's women for I'm you, though, man. <laughs> yeah, we have that's the a, muscles. That's why the women can't have the muscles, man. They just threaten you with them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up. Jinx doesn't even know you. She's like, you can't do 115. I'm gonna beat I'm you gonna up. I'm gonna beat you up just because I can. <laughs> uh, imagine if I walked around doing that. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna beat up everybody I'm bigger than. Yeah, but you walk bigger around than most with that people. attitude. But what attitude? With the attitude, like, fuck with me, I'll beat you up. The same attitude I had when I was, like, I've had <laughs> yeah, periods true. where I'm pretty little in my life, where, like, <laughs> I had health had issues and I was little. Yeah, I guess that is just kind of you. Yeah, it's just me. I always had that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how big I am. It is a lot easier, though, when you're bigger, because nobody even yeah, says shit to you. Yeah, it is interesting, like, seeing the way people, like, react to mm-hmm. you, like, when we're walking around, like, people get out of the way. <laughs> 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 well, that's a big dude. I think we're done with this, right? Is there anything we're missing? I feel like there's stuff we're missing. Let's take a look at the car here. Yeah, we have to, to bring it back up. There's stuff in the bottom that we're missing, I think. Mm. Mm. It does feel like like that ignition coil should have been in there. And the mm. shaft. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we're, we messed a few <laughs> things up here, guys. Let's take a look at the bottom, because I feel like there's some stuff in the bottom I didn't finish replacing. Oops. That's not what we want to do. But yeah, getting bigger, like... If you want to see how, how people act based on your 
your size. They act a lot different. And that dude in Walmart who ran away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because <laughs> he had mentioned Well, he was YouTube. talking smack and he didn't know I'd heard it. <laughs> yeah, he was talking smack or whatever about me being too big to walk down the aisles or whatever or something like that. I don't know what it was. Because had to turn sideways. I have to turn sideways to get down aisles, if yeah. there's people in there. Uh, I don't think we're on part mount. And then he had said something to his girlfriend about it. Yeah. <laughs> And Dorian looked around the corner. <laughs> like, we gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Like, we gotta go. <laughs> That's when you find a new man, because that one's no good. <laughs> That's one of the things. I'm like, I'm up there in the biggest I've, I've ever been. I'm technically in weight. I'm a little bit less than I was in high school. I weighed uh, 225 in high school, and I'm at 220 right now. So I'm a little bit less. Than I was in high school. But I'm up there in the biggest I've been. Because I'm not a tall guy. I'm only like 5'9. And so that weight kind of sits on me a lot more. And yeah, I've gotten so wide, like can't fit in the damn. Like we shower together often. Which is going to have to end. <laughs> it's getting difficult. Yeah, we miss some stuff, guys, inside the engine there. No. Either we put it on and it wasn't a good enough quality. Because it wasn't a 75% or 72%. Yeah, yeah either well, that. I guess unhighlight everything but those. That'd be quite the task. <laughs> I guess we can do it though. Oops. See, I'll just unhighlight all this. And then I'll show us where. I'm pretty sure I know where all these are at though, but it'll show us the, that exact specific part so you're not going to see this rod cap or whatever. But yeah, we often shower together. And it's getting kind of tight in there. <laughs> like, I have to stand to the side now. Like, I can't stand just straight in the shower because I'm too wide. Shoulders are too wide. We need one of those big walk-in showers. We, we also just, if we just had a bigger shower, a bigger bathroom, it wouldn't a be a problem. House. A bigger house. Yeah. This house ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> okay, so there's one part down there. Oh, Lord. So that is something we have to get. From, un from like, underneath. How did it let you put that? Uh, I think again we put it in there. Uh, the problem is, is the quality oh, is too low. Oh, I see what you're saying. So we got a 69% ignition coil here. So like that's where the problem is. Uh, so what we need to do is go to our shopping list and then just empty this baby, and then go ahead and add uh, the, the parts here to the shopping list, which I think it's saying is down directional bed. Yeah, there we go. All right, so that's how we add it through here. Uh, so we'll take this off, uh, but we don't have to take the whole head off again. And that means we got to take all the ignition coils off no. in order to get to that that part. So yeah, I think it was we weren't paying attention to the uh, percentages enough. Because we didn't buy exactly what we needed. Well, what happened is we were based when we were looking at the parts that needed to be replaced. We we only replaced the low percentage parts. Mm, true. But these are not low percentage parts. These are parts that are just below the seventy-two percent. Like mm -hmm. the other one was what sixty-eight or sixty-nine, and this here is seventy percent, which means we do not fit the requirement of the customer, which was uh seventy-two percent. Like he can look at that and know. Know that we're at seventy percent and not seventy-two percent. Like yeah. it's shinier than it was. <laughs> Just go. Uh huh. <laughs> see, I can see how this could kind of get you a little bit. Yeah. The percentages, if you're just not paying attention. When you're doing such a big job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's just stuff we gotta pay better, uh, better attention to, I think. And then we'll be as much of an issue. We'll have to tear this apart again, because these are not exactly easy to get out. No, not really. Because, yeah, it looks like we have to take... I'm not seeing what it needs to be taken out here. Where's the... Oh, probably these, huh? The timing covers? Uh, yeah, I think we have to take this off again. What do you gotta Which, take off of that? This can't be taken off until you get all the stuff down here. No! Yeah, we kind of mucked it up, guys. Alright, well, it is what it is. So that's unfortunate. Painful lesson, kind of learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that we definitely need to start paying attention to percentages when we do this. Just because it's in yellow doesn't mean it's good to go. And I want to say, yeah, you gotta get all this off here. That's not at all a pain. Mm -hmm. So what's the first thing? This thing, the, the belt tensioner. 
Okay, we'll take all this off. I, I don't know that we'll have to take all... Good God, it's like camera, man. <laughs> can't see. <laughs> We're like all the way out here now. All right, so we need to get the serpentine belt, and then probably can just take this part off here, the, the cam gear, and then we'll be good to go. It should let us take it out. Oh, yeah, we still got to do the other side, of course, as well. Uh, <laughs> this one's a little bit easier. Yeah, and that's not bad. Yeah, there's not too much over here. Let's see how we spent all that money, but we didn't, we didn't get all the parts we, didn't we needed. spend enough. Nope. All right, so get this cam gear in, and I think that releases it now. Yeah. Uh, let's add it to the list first. And then go and grab it. All right, so we need all those, and then there's one more part, which I think has to be accessed from below. Bottom. Yeah. I don't even recall any of these little clamp thingies being on the list, because that's what it looks like it is. It's like a clamp or whatever. Yeah. That we're, we're missing here. I think. Hold up. I don't know. Cause yeah, that's not what I'm yeah, saying. Oh, oh, yep, there it is. Right there. It's right here. The rod cap, which is 68%. It's hard to see. Like, how six, important six or even is that? <laughs> well, I don't know. It keeps it all clamped together. I assume it's pretty important. It does a good enough job. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just arbitrary percentages, of course, because it's a video game. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and get these three parts purchased. And they'll be good to go. Oh, ignition coils are not in here. We'll get the rest of them, though. All right, so get one of those. Oh. 250, good God. Uh, the rod cap, that's 40 for just that Jeez. little piece of metal there. You could have used duct tape for that. <laughs> yeah, we could have used duct tape. And the last one's here in the electronics, and that's the ignition coil. All right, so we got them all, and so now we just need to put it all back together, and then I think we're good to go. Although I wouldn't be surprised if we we missed a part, like like that wasn't one that had to be <laughs> replaced, but we just didn't put it back on again, like a bearing or something, a rubber bushing or something, like one of the ones that didn't be replaced. But I think all of them did, so I don't know. We'll see, you guys. I'm assuming that we'll try and say we're done with the job, and then they'll say nope. Like, no, we're done. We're we, telling you. We have done so much that we have a level up now. So let's go to get something now. Could cut Strong examination arms. time. We could also save our points to do something up here. That would be an option as well. Okay, so this is not just an increased chance of instant repair. You can't even fix things from certain groups until you get up here. Group one, two, and three, it's all split up. Oh, I guess there's more groups. Well, what's in those groups? I don't know. Okay, so we could save up. We actually have two points now. I wonder if we're going to start getting more points, or if we just had a point that I never used. So we could actually go ahead and get one of these ones here. So we can either increase screwing speed even faster, or increase mounting and unmounting speed by 15%. I like that one. Yeah, we'll do that one. Jinx, again, wants to be mounted quickly. <laughs> all right. So let's go ahead and finish with this engine. It's not the mounting, though. It's the screwing. So why wouldn't you want the screwing <laughs> to be faster? I don't know, because, <laughs> like, get the parts on there. <laughs> get started? It shouldn't take that long to get started. <laughs> Come on now. All right, so we just need to get the other side here and then get the top on. And then we'll see how, our, how our work is, is rated. I feel like we forgot something just because there's so much we had to do here. Also, there's just What's a pipe that sitting. Blue part? Is huh? that all one part? What? Like, there's a blue part next to the cam. Like. Yeah, we've already we have that part. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have that. Uh, but that can't be put on until we uh, put the top back on. Oh, I see what you're. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta do this first. The serpentine belts, all that kind of good stuff. The belt tensioner. But usually you're, you're often saved from making too harsh a mistake since it won't even let you do the next step until you've done, you know, everything that needs to to be on there. So that helps you quite a bit. Can you imagine if, like, it would let you put it together without all the stuff? Didn't the <laughs> You'd last be screwed. One? No, it didn't. Uh -uh. It didn't? No, but you could miss, like, a rubber bushing oh, because, like, you don't need to put that rubber bushing on to put something else on. And so that's how you would, like, miss it. But, 
you can't like put a part on without putting everything else that goes on there. They're still in part mount, right? Okay. There's something that we need to put on to be able to do this. Is there a gearbox? Hmm. What is it that needs to go on here? I was just talking about how, oh, there it is. Clamps, you never clamp these yet. Oh. Of course. I'm just gonna spin right off. <laughs> yeah, I need to get all these placed on. But yeah, we put the camshaft on, then put the, the clamps. I think once we finish this, then we'll be able to get the top on. Then we should be good to go. Again, if we're not missing anything, which for the most part, there's not too much you can be missing outside of like little things that's like rubber bushings that don't connect to anything else. And those can get you. But since we had so many rubber bushings we need to replace, and the job is saying they're all on there, I don't think that'll be an issue this time. We got the damn bushings. We got the bushings. All right, so let's get these ignition coils in here. And then I wanna say that's it. Last one. Okay, okay. so let's take a look at the job. See that we're all green. Yes. All right, we're all green. And we still need to put the, the new oil in there. And so once we've done that, let me uncheck these. We're not getting a bonus. <laughs> Why wouldn't we get a bonus? I don't know, because we're slow or something. I don't think it's timed or anything. I'm not entirely sure how you get the bonuses. Hmm. Efficiency? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the... the hmm. Maybe you just don't get a bonus with this job. I don't know. I'm not sure how the bonus works. If you guys are playing the game, you know how the bonus works, I'd love to hear. I'm not sure exactly what you get bonuses for and what you don't. Like, it took you three months to get this job done. <laughs> it has been three months. Person's Actually, we did this incredibly quickly. Driving around in a rental that they can't afford. Because they're insurance. Now you're making me feel bad. <laughs> Alright, so I want to say that means we're done. Finish order. It's an option. Coolant fluid is missing. Uh, that's, that's the one we, we dumped. Spilled. Okay, we knew we had dumped something. The ball. Okay, so yeah, we need to, to fill that up as well. And we won't get paid for this, I don't think. Although, you know what? You should be paid for it, because even if you didn't forget to dump it... I think I filled it up for you. Is this uh, past the max? Probably. Can't tell. Yeah, probably too much <laughs> in there. Alright, well, it's all filled. So let's see if it lets us finish it. I knew there was going to be at least something. But that was it. There we go. We made, like, no money. Yeah, we didn't make much money from that job, that's for sure. That is. <laughs> now, we did buy some parts we didn't need to. Rubber bushings, for instance. Uh, this cam gear didn't need to be bought. And I guess the water pump. I don't think that was from anything else. You know what? I think the water pump was from a previous job. Did we buy a water pump in there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So, yeah, what we'd want to do is now... Do what we, we're going to do in all these and start getting rid of, uh, yeah, this stuff. And kind of just looking at, like, what uh, kind of money we can get for these. I mean, most of this, you're not going to get shit. Because it's junk. It's all junk, yeah. It's very low percentages here, and it's just not worth anything. That's 11 credits. We'll take Ooh. that. And 13 credits here. It's more than that guy paid us. <laughs> 19 credits for that. 36 credits. I mean, yeah, some of these are getting a little bit of money here. We need to charge extra for disposal. We do. I agree. I know we're not getting much for those ones, guys, but it's fine. Now the cam gear with five for that. All right, so with the rubber bushings, they're better quality, so you can actually get a little money for those. So yeah, some of these like 70%, we're gonna, we're gonna sell these all. Because they were below the percentage that he wanted. Yeah, because then the fact that neither the item, which that doesn't make any sense, but neither the item nor the quality affect the scraps that you get for them. It seems like it's better to only do it with the, the crappier stuff that you only get like one or two credits for. Uh, we also have a case to open up. So let's see what we get. We're going to get this one. And which one do you want, Jinx? Oh, got us another case. That one. I'm pretty good at picking cases. The last one. The last one. And we got some... Scrap. Oh yes, that's right. We got another case. So we can open that up. See what kind of goodies we got here. The first one. First one. 
Ooh, good choice. 168 credits. Three, yeah. Another <laughs> case. All right, so let's open the next case. Which one, Jinx? I want the credits. Two and four. Two credits. There you go. Jinx knew where they're at. And the case. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay. She's on a roll here, oh, guys. No. One and five. One. Got a barn location. Okay. Wah, okay. Wah, That's wah. the end, guys. <laughs> it was a good run. <laughs> it was a good run. All right. So we have three barn, barn location maps. But remember, we can't go certain places until we get a certain level, but I think we're actually there. Oh, yeah. It's level five, isn't it? To get the junkyard opened, oh. I think. Yeah. Level five was the junkyard. Oh, 10 is barn. 10 is barn and 15 is car auctions. Okay. Yeah, we got junkyards open. If you ever want to go there. And so, yeah, and then we would just go here and uh, write these parts down. From selling those parts and then the opening the boxes, we got more money from doing that than we did from the job, it seems. Yeah, we're at 6,500, so we could actually buy some stuff for our shop. Oops. I felt like that was my fault. <laughs> just pushing buttons. Yeah, and we'll just try and get the bonuses where we can. If you don't get them, you don't get them. Like time is money. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here all day with these. But I'll try. Big bonus. Look, that one was sloppy. That's the easy one. And when I miss those ones, then I feel really salty. When like all three of them are lined up. Yeah. And then I still don't get it. Like it says success, can you fail? No, apparently not. <laughs> I think that's why they they changed it up with that patch where they had the plus signs on it now. Yeah. Because it was kind of confusing because you're like, where's the fell state? Which one's the good one? Like, where do I fell? I mean, you kind of knew that yellow had to be the... Basic. Yeah, or whatever, because there's so many of them. But the question was I, that I was unsure of when we first started is if the yellow ones were like actual, like were a failure? Yeah. I mean, you can see there on the scraps urn on the right side here that tells you what you're getting for each each color. You just gotta pay attention. I ain't reading all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, excellent. Uh, this is the other thing though, is that we can upgrade parts with scraps now. Oh. I mean, I say now, but we could do it the whole time. Really? This is how you increase the quality. So before, like each item had a quality and the, I don't think there was any way to upgrade it. You just had to buy a new part that had a higher quality. Now you're actually upgrading the quality of the parts. So you're getting more stars for it. So all these are, are basic quality, one star. Or no, they're all zero star. They don't have any stars. They're no stars regular. for these parts. And so you can spend some credits, as well as, I'm, I'm guessing, scraps. Although it's not saying how many scraps you got to use here. It does on the... the oh, right at the bottom there. there. Yep, so you use 11 for those ones. 10 for these ones here. And that's how you improve them to the next quality. Which you'd only want to do that... For your own cars, essentially. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to sell them or whatever, because you can make them worth more. So yeah, this would only be useful once you start working on your own vehicles and not for these jobs. I don't know why you'd want to put a better quality part on a job. I don't see how that would be beneficial to you. You're not going to pay for better quality. Yeah. Uh, so this is all, again, something that we'll use a little bit later. So essentially, I don't think the scraps are very useful at this point in the game. It's really not something until you, you start interacting with until you're working on your own cars, unless you use scraps for something else. So what we'll be doing next episode, uh, we just got a ton of experience. Uh, did we get all that from the scraps? Maybe. I guess we're already set to, to level up. So what we'll do next episode is we're going to spend some of our money on some stuff here. Uh, there's more tools to get. Uh, of course, we can do the, the expansions. We can get the second lifter if we wanted to. Uh, there's a lot of different things we can get here. Uh, most of these are kind of expensive yeah, we could get the second lifter, so that would be an option. Um, yeah, it's 2,500 credits, so we could afford that. There's also some tools that we don't have yet, so we could get those too. So a lot of choices. Let us know down in the comments what you think we should get with our money. we got 6,500 credits. Remember, we do want to leave uh, a lot you know, for these jobs, because as we saw in this last one, they can get quite expensive. Uh, so yeah, let us know what you think we should get for the next video. That'll be the first thing we do, and then we'll, we'll pick up another job. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next video, and thanks for watching.